Hi everybody. I am going to answer Michelle's question and the question that she sent me was confession time. What type of fitness, health, motivation, body image issues do you have? No one is as positive slash confident all the time. You must have some issues. Would you be willing to share or am I crossing the line? I don't think that you're crossing the line at all, so I will absolutely answer your question. Um, the types of issues that I have as relates to body image and health and fitness and all those types of things is probably body image. I have been, I have been overweight the majority of my life, so I still see myself sometimes as that person, um, previous person. That being the case, um, I look at myself and I see flaws. I don't really see the good things. That's something that I'm working on. Um, I post pictures on Facebook. I do these videos and all those types of things. It's all part of my therapy. Um, getting over my fear of thinking that I'm still fat. Um, I don't wear bikinis, I don't, I just, I just don't. I generally try to stay as covered up as I can, um, except for when I'm working out. When I'm working out, I'm working out at home, so I'm more comfortable that way anyway, so it works out just great. Um, motivation, I don't have any issues with. Um, granted, there are mornings when I wake up, and I can tell you right now, my alarm clock goes off at 3.35. I'm not always feeling like getting up at 3.35. I don't always feel like getting up at 3.35 because I might not have went to bed till 2.30. And that's because I have problems going to sleep at night because my mind keeps going. Um, but I know that if I want to get all the things done that I need to get done in the day, I have to get up. Um, generally, when my alarm clock goes off, the first thing I do every morning is sin because I cuss. I do not like waking up in the morning. So what I do is I have a picture of myself before that stays right next to my bed. And um, if you have seen um, my before pictures at all, the one of me with my back turned to the camera with a thong on, yeah, that's the one that I keep next to my bed. There ain't nothing more motivating than thinking to yourself, okay, if I lay in bed, I'm going to get right back to that point. So I don't do that. So I get on up out of bed and do what I got to do. And I do that too because I get up so early because I have clients. Uh, sometimes my clients start at 5 a.m. So I generally need to get my workout done before that. Um, doesn't always happen. As you can see from the previous videos, I have been doing my morning lists at that time and answering emails at that time and stuff like that. And then when I come home between clients, that's when I um, do my workouts. And that serves another purpose, and that is keeping me busy and keeping me focused. Um, I have a lot of things going on in my personal life right now. And so by keeping myself focused, I keep myself out of that state of depression and worrying about things that I just can't control. So what's the point, you know? So... I don't have that many problems with that. And as far as confident, I wouldn't say that I'm very confident. I lived my life a long time worrying about what other people thought and trying to make everybody else happy. And then I got to the point where I got sick of it and I went way to the other extreme. And that is that I can be um, not confident isn't the word that I'd use. But I know that I'm very outspoken and I'm not very tactful. I'm working on that. But I am not very confident. I do, however, not care too much about what other people think. Not care enough about what other people think is probably better. Um, and for some, and to some people, that comes off as confidence. It really isn't. Um, I wish I could care just a little bit more about what people think in some ways because I think that it would probably prevent me from hurting people's feelings a lot 
but I don't know any other way to be. For me, there is no in between, and there should be, but I'm just simply not there yet. I just say whatever I think and whatever's on my mind, that's kind of what comes out. So um, I'm working on getting a filter, as my friend Tina tells me. <laughs> I probably do need a filter, but I just don't have one, and I'm working on that. So the issues that I have are definitely body image. Um, I definitely have um, issues with uh, learning to be just a little bit more tactful and confidence. I don't think that I have. Um, I think that I'm confident in my ability to do things, but I am very uncomfortable in lots of situations, but I'm really good at faking it. I'm really good at faking being just fine. People that know me know when I'm in an uncomfortable situation, but I just smile and do what I got to do because uh, what's the point of doing anything other than that? So, I hope I answered your question. I don't think I missed anything. Um, and no, I'm not positive all the time. When I you see posts on Facebook and things like that, a lot of the stuff that I'm posting, first of all, is things that are on my mind. But most of it is I'm posting for myself to remind myself that I need to not worry about the little things. That right now, life is really, really good. I have a home. My kids are healthy and happy my personal life is just a little bit funky but getting there and having a good time with it and I have jobs if you can call them jobs that I love I love being a beach body coach I love being a personal trainer I love working at the restaurant everyone thinks whatever they think about it I enjoy it I enjoy most of the people that I work with and I have a lot of respect for the boss, the guy that I work for. And life is good. I don't have anything to complain about. So my positivity is because why not? What do I have to complain about? Am I really going to complain because some dude cut me off in the road? Not really. I'm not really going to complain about that because it's for two seconds and then it's over and all the good things so outweigh the bad things it just really there's just really no point to it so even when I'm having a bad moment which I often have I try to remain as positive as I can I have a panel and my panel are a group of people that I have that are in my life that I know always has my best interest in heart and those are the people that when I'm having bad moments or negative thoughts or I'm ready to just pop off on somebody those are the people that I talk to and those are the people that talk me down and keep me nice and mellow um, does it work all the time nope I'm a Taurus stubborn as hell and I know it and I'm very outspoken so it doesn't always work but that's what I do so I hope I answered your question and if you have any more questions something that I missed that you asked that I didn't quite answer for you feel free to shoot me back a message and if anyone watching has a question, feel free to ask. Uh, you can reach me at Karen at ICUFitPT.com. And that is the end because right now Chicago is whooping Atlanta. And I have got to see this game now that the Miami Heat crushed, crushed Boston, the Celtics. Yes, I said crushed even though I know it's not really quite that way. But I'm a Celtics fan. But I always root for Miami no matter who they're playing against. And I was happy, happy, happy. So right now I'm a real happy camper. And now we're going to sit and we're going to watch this game. And I hope you guys all have a, just a wonderful evening.